Hi, it's Caitlin, and yes, this is a very random filming location for my intro, but um, yeah, it has to be out here today. So I am going to be showing you some new releases from Rogue Lacquer. I'm very excited because this is their annual Halloween release. I've also got their Storm Chasers quad, and then there's also a duo inspired by Beetlejuice with painted polish. Oh, and also customs for the lacquered in white and black heart of beauties Facebook customs. I'll try to include all those details down in the description, but everything you're seeing is available now. And yeah, let's just get into the swatches. We're going to start with the Halloween polishes. And this is sort of broken up into two quads as Rachel calls them. First, they're spooky. And this one is so frank and cute, which is a neon green Crelly with gold and orange shifting shimmer. Now this one is ridiculously opaque in one coat. It has fantastic coverage and it is very, very glowy. It does have a slightly matte finish when it dries down, probably because of the neon pigment but this is honestly so bright. I love to see this in a Halloween collection and it is just so much fun. So this definitely will cover in two coats, maybe even one. Do use a good glossy top coat though to add shine. And here you can just see how fantastically glowy and neon and bright this polish is, even in the dark. Here we have I'm a Haunt Mess. This one's described as a purple crelly with orange and green glowy glass flakes and metallic black flakes. Now this polish is just packed with these gorgeous rainbowy flakes and I really, really love the shade of purple for the base. I will recommend two coats with this polish, but it has phenomenal coverage and opacity, so I'm pretty sure everyone will be satisfied with it in two coats, but you will definitely want a glossy top coat because it does have texture due to the flakes, but it won't be difficult to remove and it didn't cause any staining. Now we have skeletons in my closet, which is like, I love this name so much. I'm actually surprised I haven't seen it before in a nail polish. This one is a pink, gold, and green color shifting flaky with orange metallic shreds and black metallic flake. I will also be showing this as a topper because it will work beautifully as a topper, but it also builds up nicely on its own if you wanna wear it on its own. My recommendation for these flaky balm type polishes is to be patient. Maybe wait a little extra in between each coat, like, you know, four or five minutes and work in thin coats. And then on the third coat, you sort of just wanna go in and cover any areas that were missed with the first and second coats like I'm doing here making sure you're filling in any little gaps and that's going to give you a super fun very colorful very intriguing look for your nails you will notice that this is quite textured looking it will smooth out with one layer of top coat it won't be difficult to remove and this would definitely be a contender for a matte top coat it really will look beautiful with a matte top coat, but I didn't, so let me know if you do put a matte top coat on it. And I am going to show skeletons in my closet over a polish that you will see very shortly. And I just thought this combo was absolutely perfect, very fallish, and it just is such a pretty topper if you want to wear it that way. Now I didn't do my usual four finger 
for many of these polishes just because I'm rushing to get this out but you can just see how glowy this polish is and I love the color. Here we have Fangtastic, which is a blood red jelly with red magenta glass flakes and black metallic flakes. Now I will say that this is more of like a berry shade than a red. It's definitely a pinky red, but it just works and it's so pretty. This polish is definitely one that you want to build up and I will recommend building it up in three coats. If you like a sheer, more transparent look, you could definitely go with two. But this polish is so pretty. It's definitely one of my favorites. I really, really like the color of the base and I really like the flakes in there. I just think this is a really pretty, juicy, delicious kind of looking nail polish. Again, because of the flakes, it's going to dry with some texture. Definitely use a good glossy top coat because that's going to make it look very, very juicy and very, very squishy. Now we're going to look at the Then There's Squeak Quad. This one is called Autumnal, and it's a smoky blue-gray with copper, green, gold, ultra-chrome chameleon flakes. I absolutely love this color of Crelly. It is so pretty, and I love the tiny, teeny little flakes in there. They look like crushed up leaves. This is just super pretty. It's a really, really good formula. It's super easy to work with. And yeah, I was really impressed with the coverage and the fact that it covered in two coats. This one does dry pretty glossy, but it doesn't look right unless you apply top coat when it looks totally plumped out and juicy. It's just a really, really pretty color. Now here we have Pinkoween, and this is a Dusty Mauve Crelly with black flakes. I don't know if this is a name Rachel made up or if it's like a thing, but a pink Halloween aesthetic is always very cute. And if you're seeing what I'm seeing, you'll notice that this is a beautiful, very flattering shade. I really, really like the formula. It's very smooth. The black flakes are very tiny which is always nice and it's just a dream to paint with this one so I found the coverage to be fantastic in two coats. You will definitely still want a glossy top coat because the flakes have a tiny bit of texture but the top coat will smooth everything out. And here we have pumpkin chai which I literally just drink one of those. This is a creamy pastel orange with black flakes, so same concept as Pinkoween, but orange. And this is like a really pretty soft orange. It's not too bright. It's just a really, again, flattering on my skin tone shade of orange more peach i would say than orange it's it's what you're seeing on the screen but again same formula really great coverage in two coats you might need three if you have any visible free edge but the formula on this is really easy to work with has great opacity and again you will want top coat just to add the gloss and make it look perfectly shiny
Now we're going to look at Knit Check, which is a cozy teal with copper metallic flakes. This is a really pretty shade, and as you saw it earlier, I put skeletons in my closet over this as a topper, and it worked fantastically well. I will note that the copper metallic flakes are used very sparingly in here. I think it's nice because honestly I really like the base color and I wouldn't want the flakes overpowering it. You'll notice again, fantastic formula, perfect crelly application. You will probably only need two coats because it is quite opaque. And again, you will want top coat because it just kind of dries down a little bit dull. Next up we have the Beetlejuice Duo, which is available on the Painted Polish website, so do note that. This one is It's Showtime from Rogue Lacquer, and it's a gray crelly with green and purple glass flakes and lime metallic flake. This is really very Beetlejuicy. Um, just it has the perfect Beetlejuice look, and the formula is fantastic. The flakes are really luminous. They show up beautifully in between the layers of polish. And I will note that the coverage on this is really good. You might need three coats, but it's actually really good in two, at least on my short nails. Obviously this does dry with texture. It won't be difficult to remove, but you will want that top coat just to smooth everything out and make it look very glassy and The other half of the duo is from Painted Polish. It's called the Juice is Loose. And this is a holographic lime green glitter and black metallic flakes in a royal purple crelly base. Now, Painted Polish has phenomenal glitter crellies. They're kind of famous for that. This one, as you can see, has beautiful coverage with the base and it does cover i think for most people in two coats it will be textured because of the glitter and glitter is a little more difficult to remove than flakes so you might want to use a peel off base coat or just be prepared to scrub a little bit when you're removing the polish you will definitely want a good thick layer of glossy top coat and Depending on what you're using for your top coat, you might want to use two coats of top coat or a glitter grabber and then quick dry top coat over that. And rounding out my video, we're gonna look at the Storm Chasers quad. This first polish is called Dust Devil, and it's described as a pale, creamy orchid base with an orange tint, an orange to gold shimmer. Now, overall, this is giving more like a pinky peach, but I think it is a really, really, really sheared out orchid 
base. Anyway, whatever you're seeing is how it looks to me. And the formula on this is great. It's really quite creamy and opaque. So I think most people will be satisfied with it in two coats. And the shimmer and shifts in this are really strong. It's a really, really glowy polish. This does dry a little bit dull. So use glossy top coat to maximize that glow. And I'm excited for you to see the shifts in that polish. I did do a full four finger swatch for this quad so you can see the shifts in all their glory. Here we have Supercell, which is a blue gray base with pink to gold shimmer and hollow flakes. This is a lovely formula. It has really good coverage and a ton of shift to it. The hollow flakes are a little more on the silvery side. There is some hollow to them, but they're not like the most rainbowy flakes. It does have really great opacity though. I would say most people will be satisfied with this in two coats. I definitely couldn't have fit three on my nails. Um, and again, it does dry a little bit satiny. So use a glossy top coat and you'll be good to go. Next, we're going to look at Twisters, which is a denim blue hollow flake balm. The base of this one is very jelly. It is very buildable. And the hollow in this one is a little bit more rainbowy, as you can probably tell. I think that just depends on the base that's being used. Obviously, this is a jelly, so it's going to let that prismatic aspect of the hollow shine through more than in a crellier slash creamy base now my nails are very very short i filed them in between swatching polishes for this video but i still think this one would be best in three depends on your style i went there on my index so i did three on my index and two on my middle you will definitely want glossy top coat because it does dry a tiny bit dull and you want the top coat to bring out the rainbowiness of the hollow flakes. And here we have Direct Strike. Direct Strike is a striking purple jelly packed with silver metallic flakes and micro hollow flakes. So very similar to Twisters, but this has the addition of metallic silver flakes as well as the hollow. I really do like this shade of purple. It's very striking as it's described. 
but it's just really pretty and easy to wear. I love the formula. I love that sort of squishy look. And for this one, I found it covered well in two coats, but most likely people will need three just because again, my nails like barely exist when I swatch this. And oops, I wasn't actually done with the Storm Chasers. There's the Facebook group customs. So Midnight Bloom is for the Black Hearted Beauties group. And it's a black jelly with color shifting flakes and glowy indigo metallic shimmer. There is a ton of flake in this polish. It's really beautiful. And it still manages to be visible between the dark base layers. I will um, say most people will be okay with this in two. You might need three, but it actually had really good opacity, so I think two is going to be pretty good for most people. And this does dry down textured and definitely on the dull side. So use a good glossy top coat. It won't be difficult to remove. I did not experience any staining and I absolutely love the glowy shimmer and the glowy flakes with the dark base. Now, last but certainly not least, we have Rolling Stones for the white Facebook custom. This is a light white crelly with an ethereal mix of glass and color shifting flakes. And you can take a shot if you guessed that I was gonna say I really like this in one coat. I always say that about polishes like this, but of course you're gonna wanna see it in more than one. So I will build it up in three for anyone who is curious. It has a really good formula. I will recommend waiting a little longer than usual in between coats to prevent any traffic jam with the flakes. I do think um, it's just packed in there. So you want to give each layer a good amount of time to dry so you don't pull anything. And you can see on that third coat, it just really, really rounds it out. There's so many flakes packed in here and they're very rainbowy. This nail polish looks like the pearly gates or something like that. Um, it's just really pretty. And I will recommend a good glossy top coat on this one because it does have texture, but the top coat will smooth it out. It won't be difficult to remove. And I actually went and mattified this one because I just really wanted to see how it looked matte. And I was not disappointed. It looks absolutely beautiful.
I do have some definite favorites. I really love Rolling Stones, which is the white for the Lacquered and White Facebook group. Um, it's just so pretty and elegant. It's the kind of polish that I love to wear. I also love Supercell because it is very shifty and that is like my favorite kind of color combo. And lastly, Fangtastic. That one is just so juicy and pretty. And I really do love red nail polishes. This isn't totally red, it's like a berry, but um, I don't know, I don't see enough of that color and I just love it. So let me know in the comments what you think of these polishes. Let me know if you're planning on picking anything up or perhaps you've already picked up some of them. Let me know and yeah, have a great day wherever you are and hopefully I will see you in the next one. Bye.